Hey, it's Daryl with 10-Foot Truck, Good Attitude Services. So I just got done dumping what I calculated well, it was, just, it was a sofa and I love seats and chairs. And um, it only filled, my truck's small, so it only filled like, filled like a third. I mean, I was, I was calculating around a third of the truck. And um, my estimate was, I thought it was gonna be around 300 pounds because when I look at a couch, two couches, and the chairs weren't that heavy. So to me, usually couches around 100 pounds and uh, chairs eh, 40 or 50 pounds, depending. So I was thinking 200 plus the chairs are gonna be 300. Of course, I guess there might've been a little bit more weight on the couches because they ended up being about 360 pounds, which uh, wasn't too bad because uh, it was only just a little bit over what I estimated, so I'm getting pretty good at getting the estimates. So it was really, uh, normally I would, if it was under, if it's 300 or under, it's only gonna be about, I think 1680 for, for that's for the minimum charge, because it's 105 per ton. But uh, in this case, with the 60, 60 pounds over, the, over that, it would have been around 18 some, something or other with 80 cents, so about $19.52 for a third, of, a third of the truck. And this, like I said, this truck's a 10 foot, box truck which is about six four a uh, six two height height six two height in the box six four wide ten foot uh width in the box so it's just like the smallest box truck you can get but you can fit quite a bit of stuff in here so like i said i was a third of the truck i got to put you know a lot more in there so now i know um i've been charging 300 a truckload because of the lower rates here because usually it was a full truckload. It's gonna be not gonna be anywhere near a ton. Because if this is just regular furniture and that kind of stuff, since this was a third of the truck and it was just slightly over 300 pounds, I'm estimating that if it was a full truck, you know, just using a basic estimate, it would be about 900 pounds, maybe a thousand, and a higher end, you know, with higher heavier couches, but around 900 to 1,000 pounds. So that's only a half a ton. So half a ton is only gonna be about $50 unload i mean in fifty dollars of that you know for the dump fee so like today was a 1952 dump fee a third of the truck hundred dollar charge which is a lower end because i usually charge for mileage so maybe i would charge 125 but it was 100 which is not too bad 300 on full truck load so 300 full truck load would have been 50 dollar charge so you end up with 250 and usually on these runs where i'm charging up you know these these Dump runs. I'm usually just doing mattress on mattress removal, uh, couch removal, chair removal, stuff that's easy to load, easy to unload. You just pull it out, pull it in. It's not a whole bunch of tree limbs and things that are going to take longer. Because in that case, I'd have to charge a little bit more for truck load because because the amount of time when you're pulling out tree limbs. Because I don't have a dump trailer, so I have to pull it out by hand. But when it's a couch, chairs, you know, mattresses, these things are easy to just. My truck's pretty low. You know, it's fairly low deck I could just grab it throw it out ground and which is where you go to the transportation just grab it out dump it on the ground real easy it only takes about 10 minutes to unload this truck well at least for the third it took me out like five minutes maybe 10 minutes in the most and normally these loads it takes me yeah it takes me like 15 minutes to load the truck for a third if it was a full truck load anywhere between 45 minutes and an hour no I wouldn't even say that but it's maybe gonna take an hour and a half the whole the whole job driving there, loading it, unloading it because I live really close to the dump. It's really easy to get in and out of, and it's not a very busy transportation transfer station during the week. It's really easy to get in and out of there. You don't have to wait in big lines. Like today, I drove up. There was nobody there. Nobody in there. There was one other guy drove in, drove in there, backed in, five to ten minute unload, drove out, and I was done. The load probably took me. 10 to 15 minutes, but the drive is where I was. I had to drive quite a bit, so the drive probably was a half an hour drive. You know, so maybe an hour of total drive time, maybe a little bit less. So say say just give it on the higher end an hour, and the unload uh, the load was 15. And the unload say say 15. That's an hour and a half. Hour and a half, you know, isn't bad for for that kind of pay. In my mind, maybe someone's going to charge a little bit more, but for me, if it's easy jobs like that, I don't charge huge amount like I said for a regular couch chair wrap mattress furniture type removal it's not upstairs usually I'm talking about the ones that they put outside 
or it's on the ground floor, 300 a truckload. And I know some people are gonna say that's low, but for the amount of price I have to pay at the dump, I don't think so, but we'll see. So far, that's what I'm doing. You know, I'm new to the junk removal business. I've been doing mostly furniture deliveries, furniture pickups, small moves and um, stuff like that. I really wasn't involved with doing a lot of junk removal, but now I'm, I'm doing adding that to my services, uh, mainly just cl uh, clean dump type stuff, mostly furniture, uh, maybe some yard waste here and there, um, that kind of stuff. So it was pretty good. Not easy day, easy, uh, fairly easy job. No, I didn't even break a sweat at all. So got, you know, it's just your easy, uh, I mean, maybe a little bit dirty from the dump. When you go in the dump, your shoes get kind of dirty from the dump, but no big deal. It's not, it's not really heavy, heavy labor, like going up three flights of stairs or anything, anything like that. So that's about it for today. Now I'm going back to do more sales and more uh, listings. I, I did a sale today. I sold off a couple more end tables. I got three more dressers to sell. And so I got a lot to sell before I have to do another um, another um, storage clean out. And then this weekend I also have a, a labor, moving labor job, which is not even need the truck. I'm just going and loading up a pod. Pretty easy stuff. Uh, and then I'm looking for more, some more uh, removals. It's a nice cold, rainy day today. Those are the best kind of days to work in for me. Prefer these in hot days. And uh, that's about it. 10 foot truck, good attitudes, services.